Delighted to be able to report ideal playing conditions here in Lancashire at Turf Moor. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on live action from the Championship. It's Burnley up against Watford. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, getting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And a look at the starting lineup for Burnley. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4 5 1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And the starting 11 for Watford. Well, they're playing the same shape, really, so it's all about getting control of that central area and which of the wide players has the greatest effect on the game. Thank you for attending Turf Moor today. Enjoy the game. And they kick off here. And the emphasis is on creativity. But the danger averted for now. Well, as you can see, when it comes to the hosts, they certainly know a thing or two about scoring goals. In fact, Stuart, they have the most potent attack in the league. Well, the movement of the front players is key. They're always threatening the space behind the opposition, and when the ball does go wide, they work so hard to find that bit of room away from their markers. They've been brilliant, and these fans have been treated to some great football. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Excellent ball over the top. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Brownhill. Rodriguez with it. Now, let's see what they can do here. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. <laughs> Giving the ball away. Cullen. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Can he finish? And that's a straightforward stop. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. But nothing comes of it. Well, as you can see from the stats, there's been little between the two teams. It's been really tight, really cagey. Let's just hope it opens up and one of these teams is willing to take a few risks. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay.
And with that, the attack fizzles out. Can they hit on the break? Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Chance to play it in. Will this corner bear fruit for them? Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, no end product. This looks promising. Able to get a body in the way. So nothing to choose between the teams at half-time as the referee blows his whistle. Stuart, your impressions of our hosts? Well, after giving their attacking play the big build-up, they've let us down. They haven't quite been as fluid, the strikers haven't got the better of their markers, and they've just missed a couple of chances. But I'm still sure they'll score goals in the second half. And so the battle commences. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Well, time tackle. Jordan Bayer. Jack Court now. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Hamza Chowdhury. Gaspar. Ken Sima. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw in. Sema. And still looking for space. Perfect example of how to put in a tackle. And a corner will be next. Who can they pick out? Well, the Did his job defensively. With a registration GR21LJJ. Superb block. Breaking at pace. Take it away. Could be dangerous. A oh, very effective play, and they might be onto something. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Well, the stats tell us everything. They just aren't doing enough going forward. They've been too predictable and far too slow in their build-up play. They need to do something different to get the breakthrough. Well, in possession now. Let's see what they can create. Superbly read and executed. And teammates around him. Jack Cork. And the keeper had the measure of it. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. They take it short. Nicely timed tackle. A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here.
And now the delivery. It comes to absolutely nothing. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Just ten minutes to go. Ismail Assar. On the attack. Is this to be late drama? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Well, not long left now, but this crowd have been brilliant. Can the players get a winner here? And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Cork. Firing it in. And simple for the keeper. Keenan Davis. And that is the whistle for the end of the 90. Nothing at all to separate these two. And teammates around him. Jack Cork. And the keeper had the measure of it. There has been plenty of limber.